According to the Husker Pantry website, updated in 2020, nearly one in three students on the UNL campus worry about not having enough food until they get their next paycheck. The organization my group chose to audit was Husker Pantry. Husker Pantry provides free food and hygiene products to all UNL students, and our group analyzed their method of distributing these products and the communication. I have done extensive research on Husker Pantry as an organization and believe I have a good grasp on the goals that they are trying to accomplish. Today, I would like to inform you on my experience on the organizational audit of Husker Pantry. First, I will look at what I learned from the experience itself, then I will talk about my personal responsibilities for this organizational audit, and third, I will touch on what, how my group worked together and the communication tools that we used. Now, I will talk about what I learned while doing this project. The biggest thing I learned was that there is a large number of food insecure students on UNL's campus. Um, Husker Pantry is doing what they can to help this issue, but they, I've also learned that they face some communication issues. For example, they are only able to communicate to UNL students by using a, their Husker email instead of their personal email. And um, I know that a lot of students don't check their Husker email frequently, so this can lead to them not having this information that could potentially help them. Another barrier that I learned Husker Pantry faces is that they only have hours open during the week and not on the weekend. This can make it, this can isolate some students who are not able to make it in during those hours because they have work. When it comes to organizational analyses, I learned that it is important to talk to multiple people on multiple levels of the, an organization to get a more holistic view of the organization and what they are realistically accomplishing. Now that I have talked about what I learned, next I'll talk about what my my personal responsibilities were. I have tended to focus on the clinical implications of Husker Pantry's intervention into social change. Initially, I did preliminary research on Husker Pantry, both by looking at sources straight from the Husker Pantry website and from outside sources that analyze Husker Pantry. Um, I were able to was able to talk about Husker Pantry and the pursuit food insecurity and analyze if they were achieving the goals that they had set. I looked at their means of communication with the students and how it has hindered them or helped them, and I also examined the way that they frame their organization and how they help their students. For example, they tend to frame Husker Pantry as something that is for food insecure students, even though they help students no matter what. So this can make some students feel like they don't qualify or aren't necessarily the demographic that Husker Pantry is looking to help. Overall, I analyze the implications of the actions that Husker Pantry takes and the effect on combating food insecurity. Now that I've talked about my part in the organizational analysis, I would like to talk about how my group worked together. Going into any group project, it is very scary and you don't know if it'll turn out well but I can say with confidence that every member in my group did their part and we all worked really well together. We were able to set up meetings and we were all attended either per, either physically or through video call if they, were on that, if they were unable to be there. We all also contributed equally to the conversation about what organization we wanted to look at and how we wanted to go about it. We were all, everyone would participate with ideas and we were able to delegate tasks and used organizational communication to reach our goal. When it came time to write the paper, we all participated and were able to work together efficiently. Even with the curveballs of canceled classes, um, changing due dates, and many people being all over the country due to moving home, we were all able to communicate effectively together to get this project completed. Now that I've talked about how my group worked really well together, I'll go over what I've mentioned today. First, I talked about what I learned about Husker Pantry and food insecurity while completing this organizational analysis. Then I talked about my personal role of examining their critical implication of their actions. And then I finally talked about how our team was able to use communication to effectively work well together. Today, I informed you of my experience of the organizational audit of Husker Pantry. This organizational analysis has shown me both what Husker Pantry can and has accomplished and also the importance of being able to effectively communicate within a group to complete a 